First, we would start working with genetic components. The first thing that we need to understand is we have to have a base coordinate system. So that base coordinate system will help us to start our work further. So how can we create a base coordinate system? Is in the place geometry in the ribbon, you can see there is this icon. And if I hover over to this, it says that it creates a base CS. So base CS means base coordinate system with which we will create our geometry and everything. So once I click on the base coordinate system, so it is prompting me. So it is saying that create BCS. Now it is giving me the model options. I am in the design model right now. That's why it is saying the design model. From where I can see the model options in the generative components system in the left bottom, I can see there's an option that is called a design model. So what this specify that I'm in the design model and I would be selecting design model. So if I want to create a different model, I can just click on new and click on OK and it will prompt me to create new model but I would be working on the design model. So I'll click on the design model and click on OK. Once I hit on OK, you'd see that node has placed onto the graph and as such, a coordinate system, an element has been placed over to here. How can I understand that an element is correspondence to this base CS? Is if I click on the base CS, you would notice that the element has got highlighted in pinkish color. So that means whatever I have selected that has got highlighted. So I've selected the base CS and it has selected the base coordinate system. When we would click on the base CS, you will notice at the bottom, you can see that it, it says that seven elements are selected. What are the seven elements? So a base coordinate system or a coordinate system consists of three planes, three direction and a point itself. How can we distinguish that? So these three planes signifies different planes. So this is an XY plane. If we hover over to this one, we can understand. So it says base CS dot XY plane. That means that this is the XY plane of the base coordinate system. As such, if we, if we click on the other items, we would be able to understand which uh, plane is what. Now with the planes, we would be able to see three lines only, uh, small little lines. So these lines signifies the direction. If I hover over to the red line, we will be able to see that it says base CS dot X direction. That means this is the X direction with respect to this base coordinate system. Same as this one, this is the Y direction and this is the Z direction. So once we have the base coordinate system ready for us, now we'll be able to place any geometry. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.